I just blew a load so fierce it just ate through the carpet and revealed the parquet. You know, I would suggest uh, going a little bit lighter on the vitamins if that's the case. Because if you're eating through the carpet and the parquet. Because uh, I do my kegel muscles. I'm keeping those muscles tight. You've got a pH problem. Folks, it's Saturday night. You know what that means. It's Murder Hobo Inc. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, take a look at our YouTube if you want to buy cool shit like what Chris is wearing. Uh tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. We got some cool stuff on there. Uh, either or. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there, well, we don't have that. That's that's special only. Uh, folks, the other day we announced a dice giveaway, uh, and we are pleased to announce that the winner is Lucas. Not Lucas, the player. Lucas at smart underscore goblin underscore GM. He's the proud new owner of the as soon as I get him out. I understand uh, Carol rigged it. So, oh, yeah. Right. I believe Carol it. Is, yeah, Carol is headed to the Senate. So, oh, so that's so that's a Massachusetts address. Yes, mm. uh, she apparently knows him. I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> bullshit. No, we are, we are very good friends, and, and he's from right here. He's actually one of the Pathfinder uh, venture captains. So Pathfinder, Pff, he yeah. doesn't need dice. <laughs> yeah, oh, that game's all guesswork. No, you know, called Mathfinder. We all call it math. Yes, it is. It is so much math and so much dice. See, that's so that, that, that that's why our game is superior because uh -huh. we roll our dice, but the results don't matter because shit still happens. Uh, <laughs> Folks, as you can tell from the cast, it is campaign night. Uh, we'll get into the ifs is and. That, is that really the dead giveaway? Uh, because there's five of you. Oh. Yeah, the number, the no, the number. Yeah. Otherwise, it, we're Scott. Scott's not here. So, uh, folks, uh, we'll go ahead and let them introduce themselves, and then we'll go ahead and catch you up. If you haven't been watching, <laughs> shame on you. Uh, I'll start uh, on my screen with Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name's Chris. I am playing Miniz, the Arakaka cleric, <laughs> who has managed to somehow stay alive, yet getting knocked out every episode almost. I think there's Rocky, maybe one. Rocky. You weren't you weren't here for the last one. <laughs> I wasn't. I was off, knocked out anyway. <laughs> I was off doing things that nobody knows I was doing. Um, Frank had some good suggestions on what happened to uh, my oh, character, and I'm going with it. Too. So I'll leave it at that. We'll see if uh, I share what happened. I probably will at some point or another. Across the way, I see Ernest. Ernest, who are you? Who are you playing? So uh, my name is Ernest. I'm playing Lucas, the uh, anti-druid. And I think over these last couple of months, maybe my time with the gnome has maybe curbed in some of my killer uh, impulses, murderous impulses. Or maybe not. I don't know. So find out in this episode. Blake. Yes, I'm Blake. Good answer. I, 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 no, I, 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 Perpetua is not going to be seen until we leave this this vile island. And now I am once again Madame Anastasia Beaverhausen, uh, the tiefling warlock. No, not warlock. What am I? Now? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. <laughs> hey, actually, and... you're a sorcerer. Yes, I'm. I'm the sorcerer. Carol, don't interrupt. That's rude. Kyle. <laughs> Gosh, Carol. Carol, before you even interrupt me, <laughs> would you just? Shut your mouth for a second, Carol. <laughs> a lot of this. <laughs> lot of this. <laughs> with, with a little bit of this? Yeah, there we go. Can I, can I, can I sit and spin? <laughs> you know what, Frank? I'm, I'm going to be gracious, unlike some of the people here tonight. Carol, oh, why don't you introduce your character first <laughs> before me? No, you what you want, Carol? Me. Carol, introduce yourself. No, you Carol, introduce Taryn. The half elf bard thingy, you know. You still don't have it right. Criminal mastermind. Criminal mastermind. <laughs> Serial killer. And I I'm including Mama Udu, Jeff Joffrey Dimmer, and all those horrible horrendous. Pale, all pale in comparison to Terran, bloodthirsty, <laughs> genocidal maniac. Right. Yeah. The entire people of Simon's Hollow want revenge. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> Justice for Simon's Hollow! <laughs> you want me to go next? Want me to go next or do you want to... Go ahead. All right. Lives matter. I do play Karen, my full elf, 
Although two different types of elves. Uh, are, uh, no, she's not a criminal mastermind, but she seems to pick up accusations and stuff wherever she goes. Which or is voluntary pretty... admission, you know. Yeah, uh, well, no, I know. <laughs> I never admitted to killing anybody. Just, to, like... be, just to be the, uh, the, the, the mastermind. And picking, picking these people. That's all I admitted to, was picking these people. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'm going to be playing. <laughs> no, we dock the live barbarian slash hardcore criminal now. <laughs> Folks, just to let you know, Carol begged to be on this this campaign. She really <laughs> wanted to play this campaign. So any any abuses on her <laughs> shoulders, much like the problems caused by the uh, party, because she is the criminal mastermind. Uh, the one connected all the dots the ones that uh brought the villains home or am i wrong i didn't uh, think so. she, she, in fact, in fact we, it was under duress it was under duress I'm, and I'm, you guys didn't want to go there at all i'm just a poor little gnome i'm just a gnome just a poor little gnome and i'm sitting here on gnome steps okay folks if you if you aren't familiar with the campaign this is where it gets crazy. Uh, <laughs> these guys, uh, they're fucking murder hobos is what they are. So anyway, uh, a, a couple of times ago, they were in Fink, a small mining colony near Fink Mines. Anyway, shit has gone horribly skewed because Taryn brought in Lucas Meniz, uh, Perpetua, and Dewey Docamel in and pretty much uh, opened the floodgates for their mayhem to occur. Uh, yes. The situation deteriorated rapidly, and everybody had to make an expeditious retreat out of Fink. Unfortunately, uh, only two of them managed to latch on to each other uh, before leaving. So we have Meniz in the shadows uh doing his thing we have uh, perpetua aka anastasia beaverhausen going down the coastline after meeting a strange gypsy woman and uh some kind of weird flail snail uh we have taryn who is uh trying to get to a major town called yaddle uh and she's going through the interior Meanwhile, Dewey and Lucas are also going through the interior in a different location, pondering whether or not they are going to battle keep uh, because Lucas has a book saying that there's an artifact that they are in dire need of, even though of the two parts, they have zero because they lost part one. They don't uh, know that he lost the box. <sighs> well, yeah, only, only you actually know it. So, folks, uh, I've come up with a solution here. Uh, we've done some pre-rolling already, and uh, it's going to be fast rounds. So we're going to try and get in as much as possible uh, that we can because uh, one of our other uh, constitutional players, Scott, will be running his uh, Gary Khan offering the next two Saturdays, uh, just to get all the kings the return out. Return to the return to the hidden veil. Vale. Return. So you'll see these guys and Scott uh, the next two weeks. So <clears throat> with the roles intact, uh, we are going to start with Anastasia Beaverhausen as she goes down the uh, tree-lined mountains. As, on the as, as, as I continue tracking the flail snail, uh, you will never find that fucking thing again. I <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Okay. <laughs> Guarantee it. Uh, I'm going to need a perception check, please. Uh, oh, that's going to be just a 12. Eight. Okay. Uh, no, just from him, her, it. Uh, there's a ship out on the ocean, but you cannot tell what it is. Uh, you have been headed south towards Yaddle uh, so that you can find a... Can I tell which direction it's going? Even south okay so you are in a, uh, a forested mountain area uh, above the coastline so you can look down so it's kind of like you're in california on the 101 uh looking down on creation blah 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 thank you helen ready what would you like to do continue excellent choice roll initiative <laughs> that's a net one 
that's a 10. So uh, you hear a war cry. Do you speak bugbear? Uh, no, but I would cast comprehend languages on myself upon hearing a foreign language. Well, let's see if he can whack the shit out of you first. Uh, well, I don't even need to ask. That ain't going to hit. Okay, you are up. Uh, the uh, bugbear chieftain uh, takes a few whacks at you and misses horribly. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll, I'll say, hey, 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 what's going on here? Um, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Uh, 18, actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that's very nice, Lucas. <laughs> uh, 18. Ah, uh, the creature pauses. New round. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still waiting for an answer, so that, that's going to be my turn. Uh, he looks at you, and uh, give me a d12. 11. Uh, nine. Uh, two more whacks at you. Okay. Uh, seven and a twelve plus n almost nothing plus five, so seventeen doesn't hit you, no. right? Uh, the bugbear does not appear in the mood to chat. It, does he appear to be alone at this point in time? Yes, he <laughs> is not calling out to anyone. Uh, he is standing on the rocks above you, uh, swinging his mighty war club with poor accuracy today. Okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead, and since he's right there, I'm going to give him a shocking grasp. Fair enough. Uh, so... 17 to hit. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a cap roll. Okay. Uh, 12 plus 8, 30, 20. Uh, he's going to take 2d8, and I'm going to have advantage on my next attack against him. So it's only 7. So. He also can't make a reaction. I don't do reaction shit. Ah, uh, new round, top of the order. Six. Seven, double 17s. You're so. up. Uh, eight and a 14 plus five. 19 get you? I'll shield that. Okay. You're up. Actually, no, I'll, be, I'll, I'll eat that one. I'm sorry. I'll eat that one. Take 10 plus 3. 13. Okay. Your attack? Uh, I'm going to Poison Squirt. Okay. Uh, that's a con or a dex. I can't remember. That 20. Okay. It uh, doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, new round. Initiative. Okay. Uh, I'm rolling my shit for initiative. Can we just keep it? You go first. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll do this round. Seven and a nat 20. Uh, ooh, 14 plus three, 17 damage. Uh, there he connected. Oh, on the attack rolls? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, I would have taken a reaction while he was attacking that time, so. Nat 20, so. Well, yeah, he gets, I, get, I can impose disadvantage once per long rest. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Uh, no shit. <laughs> 20 again. Okay. No, uh, so yeah, uh, 17 on the damage. Wow. I am keeping that die. Okay. You are up. Uh, all right. Fuck it. Let's stop dicking around. I'm going to magic. Uh, no, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to magic this little bit. Fair enough. Uh, so that's. Uh, going to be five darts, each doing D4 plus one. That's 17 uh, force damage. 24 total. Uh, you need to get on your high horse and kick the shit out of this guy. He's got a lot of hit points. Moving over to Carol. Carol, you are going through the interior. You are at Battle Keep uh, with a little halfling named Cola. What do you want to do? Wait, was it Battle Keep or Bushmill? I'm, I'm sorry, Bushmill Tower. 
Okay, Bushville Tower. All right, and we just killed this Shadow Mastiff, right? Correct. Freaking right up there. Uh, I want to take, I want to get a short rest. <coughs> we'll play because I kind of sort of need some help. Okay. Uh, I'm sure she does too. And then I want to go look at the interior because I'm thinking, I mean, I know you said it was ransacked, but maybe there's information there or whatever. And sure. I want to do this quickly so that. Um, Are you going to take the rest first or investigate? I'm going to take the rest first because if there's anything else in this tower, I'd like to have all my health. Sure. D12 against me. Oh, God. 11. You're going to. Oh, no way. I rolled an 11. Reroll. Hey, what's up? Seven. 11. Oh, shit. Two 11s. Uh, the halfling goes ahead and uh, says, uh, yeah, I'll take a short okay. rest with you. Not a big deal. I was going to go ahead and roam around, but I'm not going to do that. After your short rest. Uh, you get health back because I'll do something of rest. Sure. Um. Yeah, I was trying. I promise I'm on my little my little phone for the thing. So trying to find anything on here on T and D Beyond is interesting. Um, all right, but we can do that. Uh, all right, so then after that we'll go look. Uh, do you want to go up first, or do you want to let her go up first? I want to let her go up first. That's I'm fair. Give me, give me dex. Anything shiny? Give me dex checks. Dex checks. All right, yep. hang, hang on, hang on. That's a six for her. At 20. Uh, you're fine. She pitches over. Can I her? Uh, you can make a stab at her if you want. Uh, if you successfully hit her, you're going to have to uh, beat me on a strength. Oh, because that's my real, you know, strong thing there. So uh, if you grab her, you got to hit her with a 15. Using an attack uh, roll. Uh, attack roll help dex or go, go, go unarmed attack so use your modifier for your unarmed attack oh hell i don't know what the, <laughs> is that strength or dex oh dex. It's a, you can go dex actually let me or acrobatics if you want oh acrobatics is that is well over i rolled a 12 in the die and acrobatics is well above that okay here's the problem okay you've grabbed her hand uh if her roll is higher on strength than yours, you She's both going go to over. caress it. Wait, what? Slowly. Don't go high, damn it. Uh, she gets Nat plus 20. one. Nat 20. 19 plus one. The Nat 20 will win. So you catch her from uh, falling over the edge, give her a toss, and she is now behind you. Uh, both of you get to the top of the tower, and I will take investigation checks, please. All right. I don't think that's good. That was pretty good. Let me hold on skills. Uh, investigation. That is an 18. You get to the top of the tower and it seems to be that it was some kind of slobs bedroom. Uh, clothes are askew. Uh, a lot of the trinkets in the area have been knocked over. Uh, there's a bird's nest in the window indicating that it's been empty for quite a while. But you spy a loose stone in the wall. Uh, I'll go check it out. Uh, chiseling away at some of the mortar, you discover a small cache behind it, and there is an iron box. Inside the iron box is a pink potion and a yellow potion. Oh, interesting. So what is that to find out? Arcana? Or do you uh, need... No. I get what the hell it is, okay? You can drink it. I'm not going to drink it. He's, he's, he's going to make you identify or drink it. Right. It's, <coughs> it's a spell identify, right? Yeah. Correct. And I don't have that. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. No, drink. no. I'm going to I'm gonna save him. I'm going to put him away and save him for he now. He Nicola. Boo. Maniz. Oh. You are up. Good night. All right. <clears throat> so I was going... South from Simon's Hollow towards Sipic. Correct. Give me a perception check, please. Uh, that'd be 15. No dragons this time. Well, that's good. After, um, after several hours, uh, 
you feel the need to take a rest, I'll take a second perception check, please. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, you see a small campfire and a tent down below, just off the road. I'll uh, approach it cautiously. Inverted? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, you, uh, what you did not notice was a small uh, cart, uh, a handheld cart, uh, that would be used to transport goods. You've seen them before when Perpetua stole one. Yeah. This would appear I, to be a merchant. Feel, I didn't feel a handy part. I, I borrowed one to be a diamond merchant. Mm -hmm. So oh. you seem to have stumbled onto a campsite, Maniz. Uh, I introduced myself. He introduces himself as Bedrick Bodkin, a uh, merchant of fine fabrics. Uh, I ask him how far we are from uh, Sipic. Ah, uh, Civic, uh, you're a good uh, three days travel, but I see with your wings, you might be able to make it in two and a half. What takes you down south? Oh, uh, I got separated from some friends a while back and looking to go meet up with them. Oh, that's nice. It's always good to travel with friends. Myself, I do not. I don't travel at all. Say, you look like you're in need of a nice tunic. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fingers away from the cloaca, please. Um, yeah, what what do you have? He says, hang on, let me go get some. He he kind of eyeballs your size, goes over, plops down several vests of different colors and different fabrics. Give me a perception check. <laughs> That'd be an eight. Uh, as he goes through, he asks you if you have a favorite color. I like green. I have green. I have green and tartan plaid. I have green and herringbone. I also have just a plain green, a Kelly green, a very Patricky green. I'll go green and tartan plaid. D12 against me, please. Ten. He whips one out. He makes a few adjustments so that you can get him around your wings, sizes it up, uh, and asks you what you think. I like it. It has four pockets on it, sir. Four pockets. You can hold just about anything in there. It's a very nice item. What, what is the cost on such an item? You know, I like... <laughs> I like the looks of you, my avian friend. I'd be willing to part with this for eight gold. Dabble. Sure. Oh, sure. very good. Looks great on you. Have I told you that? Have I mentioned that? Green looks great on you, sir. Thank you. Uh, he points out, he goes, uh, you got to be careful when you're headed to Sipic. A lot of ill people down there right now. Oh, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of my coronavirus or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'll stay clear maybe of the uh, <coughs> main city and say at the outskirts. You notice that uh, when you found him, he was just finishing up dinner. So he goes ahead and packs his lunch pail up, throws it into the hand cart and says, well, Best of travels, my avian friend. And don't forget to tell him that Bedrick Bodkin sold you that vest. I will, good sir. Safe travels. Thank you. You too. Give me a D20, Maniz. 16. You're checking it out, and there's something in the right pocket. I look at it. It is, a, it is a folded piece of paper. As you unfold it, you start to see the words wanted unfold upon it. As you peel it back, you notice a very familiar looking visage on it. It is one Dewey Docamel. 
Why is Dewey wanted? If anything, I thought it was Taryn. What? It's, yeah. It is for escape. <laughs> There's also a question oh, yeah. mark <laughs> next to it. Unknown assistant. Any any description on the unknown assistant or just unknown assistant? Unknown assistant. There is okay. a 500 gold piece reward for Dewey <laughs> Dr. Null. That's not even worth I my time. Am worth more than that, thank you. Maybe not to them, Dewey. Maybe not to them. <laughs> well, you just give away 300 gold, so maybe not. That's true. Kyle and Lucas, uh, have you decided? Are you going over to Battle Keep or are you going to continue to go south through the woods? We were going to Battle Keep, right? You sure. have kicked that around. You, you are on the south side of the river, which is where you want to be. And after several days of travel, you come to the looming towers of Battle Keep. Uh, the towers are in poor condition. It looks like it suffered a siege of some kind. Give me history checks, please. Uh, ready? 14. Plus, do I get any bonus since I read a book about this place? Actually, I was going to say, if you still have the book, you can tell Dewey what the story is with it. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, I got a 24 on this. <laughs> Lucas, do you have it readily available, or do you need me to tell you? Uh, I mean, you need to probably tell me. Okay. Uh, Battle Keep is the home of, or was the home of, rather, uh, books. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. I love books. So there was some rod. This is the place that has the rod of it's snaring or something, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, rod of catching. Yes, yeah, so you have the book Traitor of the Banished, a historical perspective about Lord Mortimer Battle of Battle Keep. He was originally expelled from the Paladin Order, Swords of Amor, for mutiny, but it turns out that he knew that the High Shield, Master of the Order, was possessed. Battle killed the High Shield after he was banished and was believed to be a traitor. He was put to death, but then exonerated after his execution. The fortress was abandoned and is believed haunted by the High Shield. Ooh, haunted. Cal, should we wait until we get a cleric? <laughs> You're muted. I don't think he's muted. I think he's fucking with you. No, I'm muted. Definitely muted. Okay. I said we need to get the staff <laughs> to take to the library <laughs> so we can stop the evil stuff going on. I know what we need to do, but I think we need to take an extra moment to get a cleric if this place is haunted. We can run out if it's too haunted. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Let's go. Uh, as you make your approach, uh, it's starting to be late afternoon and clouds are starting to roll in because fuck it, why not? Rain. Uh, you notice that the keep has been abandoned for a while, maybe a couple decades, maybe even a century. It's hard to say. Uh, the battlements are well worn and stones have fallen off the tower. Uh, the front gatehouse is still present, and a rusted iron portcullis bars your way. Inside, the grass is overgrown in the main courtyard, and the uh, looming building of the keep itself is about 200 yards past the portcullis. Any places where the wall has come a crumbling down? Not completely down. There is spots where you could probably climb up. Um. <laughs> yeah, I keep cool. dreaming. Yeah, I want to take an extra moment to look around to make sure that I don't hear or see or smell any other living beings. Investigation checks from both. Can I use perception, please? Nope. What? Is there a reason for this? Yeah, you're investigating the surroundings and looking for problems. Well, investigating would be nice close up. Perception would be investigation, distant. boys. <laughs> Twenty one. I, I mean, I really want to figure this stat out because I really don't get why you choose investigation for this. Because I purposefully Because I am a random SOB. <laughs> All right. Either way, I got a modified. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for our Tuesday shows, go watch the ones about combative DMs. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, there we go. We got our next between the rolls. That's right. You are successful, but you don't see anything. Apparently, there's not even uh, bird life around here. Nothing's moving whatsoever. Oh, that's creepy. All right. It's a fucking advantage. Keep it. Should be creepy. Over to Beaverhausen. Uh, currently, the bugbear chieftain is kicking the shit out of you. Did not, you? Not, not as much as you probably think he is. Uh, well, I know how many hit points he still has left. <clears throat> Did you want to do initiative rolls or just stick with the same initiative? I'll stick with going second. That's fine. Fair enough. He's going to take another whack at you as he sounds a lot like some kind of uh, sand creature. Uh, 12 and a nat 20. I am not shitting you. I am hot rolling tonight. Uh, so 17 it's, it's, it's and a nat 20. 20 hits, yeah. Dang, I am rolling. Oh, shit. Uh, I was rolling. Four plus three, seven damage. Okay. I'm you going to uh, mirror image myself, and I'm going to quicken that to reduce it to a bonus action. Uh, so the next time he attacks, I'm going to roll a, a dice. You're going to tell me what your attack roll is. I'm going to tell you if it hits me, hits in a mirror image, and it's, it's your high. If, if your attack is high enough, one of my images will be dispelled. I will remain unharmed. Don't I roll for that? I have to roll six or higher. You just have to roll twelve to hit twelve. Uh, twelve AC or better to hit the mirror image. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so I, but because I quickened that, I still get to make a, a poison spray. Right. So uh, let me have that. Plus, what am I rolling against? Uh, Poison spray is con. 13. Uh, He fails. He's going to take 2d12. Okay. Uh, That's going to be 20. Okay. New round. Uh, Nine and an eight. Both will miss. You are up. Okay. Well, actually, I guess... If it's a 12, both yeah. would hit. So did, did I hit a mirror or did I hit you? I, well, both were, one was a 13, one was a 14. Uh, he dispels two of the images. Okay, you are up. Yeah. Uh, I like the damage on that. I'm going to Quicken a shocking grasp. So that's going to be uh, 13 plus 8, 21 to hit. He's going to take 2d8. Uh, that's only 5, but I have advantage on my next attack. And because I quickened that, I'm going to go ahead and just try and dagger him in the face with advantage. Uh, that is a 24, so that's going to hit. That's a going to be uh, another 7. Another round. Uh, 2 and a 19 plus 5, so 24. He just dispe- he dispels my last mirror image because I rolled a twelve. I rolled a twelve. You are up. Okay. I'm going to fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck fuck fuck. Um. Screw that. Liked it so much. I named it twice. So mirror image one more time. Uh, quicken it. And uh, I'll stab him in the face. Okay. Uh, that's an 18. And that's going to be nine. Fair enough. Carol, you've just uh, found two potions, and Cola wants to know hey, what'd you get? 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 Any idea what these are? Oh, they're potions. Any other potion. I don't think you want to try it. I think we want to. They are. I'll try one. And she she grabs uh, odd pink, even yellow. What are you doing? Odd pink. Pops the top. You might want to wait to actually in a combat situation. (laughs) Take that off my sheet. What does she look like? Uh, she's short. She looks like a halfling. 
quite that she looks like. But what is she? Did she anything happen? No, oh, she's kind of licking her teeth. It's kind of a viscous thing. Was it an oil? Mm, not sure. Well, now it's not existent, so I can get rid of that off my sheet. Hey, can I have the other one? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only fair, right? Yeah. Sure. But if you aren't going to drink it, I mean, I might as well drink it. Well, I'm not going to drink it right now. I, mean, I tend to save these things in case they need them. Why do you want to drink it right now? Just for the taste of it. Yeah. Hey, wash, why don't we... the, wash the taste of the other one out of my mouth. I'll tell you, why don't we just go check out up ahead and see if there's anything I can quickly find. Uh, uh, any... There are iron rungs set into the back wall that lead up to a trap door. You can see water has drizzled down through the trap door and created a small amount of moss and on the rungs and on the wall. There's no like papers or anything, no desks, no nothing. Is it all just totally been emptied out? Uh, it's all been gone through. As I said, is there a desk or anything in this room? And then uh, there a was, it is broken. Let me, yes, it was broken. All right, but the, and there's nothing. There's, a, there's an armoire, a bed, and a desk, and a chair. Uh, the armoire is tipped over, the desk and the uh, chair are broken. Okay, so there's no papers or anything that have been left scattered around or? Uh, investigation. That's what it said. That's what I'm looking for is any clues into what this place is. Um, yeah. Great. She got a 16. No, she did better than me. That's a 11. She did better than me. Uh, as, you, as you look around, you notice some of the papers have been crumpled up, and she's doing this. You find anything interesting? Nah. Can I make a uh, insight check? Sure. On her? Uh, that's one of my great... I wish insight was a higher skill for me, but... Yeah, that's a 12. I still think something's up. <laughs> she wads it up. Whoo, throws yeah. it over the edge. Well, I'm bored. Was, Let's go do something. Of hand. It was of hand. All right. I go outside. We go down. I've carefully avoid the hole. And I want to go outside and find that. Oh, it's down. It's down on the base. She threw it down the stairwell. She threw it down the stairs. Yeah, I'm going to go down the stairs. Okay. And I'm going to find that which, what it was. Maybe it was nothing, but maybe it was something. Okay. Uh, you get to the bottom. Are you going down first, or are you going to let her go down first? Um, I'll let her go down first. She said she wanted to go find something interesting to do, so I'll let her she go first. She skips down there and goes outside and looks around and notices that uh, the storm has passed, uh, but it's getting dark. Uh, and she suggests you guys take a long rest. All right. Um, fair enough. I know it's sometimes I know I want to talk to her so bad, but I don't know if you want to do this now. You want to go to the next person. Do I find the paper, by the way? Yes, you find the paper. All right. I uncrumple it and look at it. Uh, it appears to be a missive uh, addressed to Lord Bushmill from his son, Jebediah. Jebediah. I was trying to remember his name. Okay, what does it say in it? Anything in particular? Uh, it apologizes for his past behavior and hopes that his father will forgive him. Apparently he wasn't that sorry. He was still a dick. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> He was, he was the reason I got picked up by the friggin' hobgoblins. He was he a lived in a tower down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, in my pocket. And uh, I just said, if you, I, want, I want to talk to Cola, but if you want to go on to the next person. Oh, no, go ahead. Talk to her. I don't care. You know, I'm just going to talk to you at some point in time and move to the next. Go ahead. What do you want to ask her? So... God, what do I want to ask her? So, <clears throat> uh, I'll All be right, like, back to Lucas and Dewey. Because <laughs> I want answers to who the hell Cola is. And I keep calling her Coda. That's like, okay. What? 
for music people, you know, things, then it would be more relevant uh, to me. Um, so she would point out that she was an adventurer. She was teamed up with a tiefling and a something dragonborn, silver dragonborn. Uh, and they were in uh, Fink hanging out. Uh, she's more on the hunt for uh, the person or people that are responsible for hiring the people that killed her cousin. Who is her cousin? I say, I was going to say, why did you tag along with me? Because you seemed like uh, you were interesting, and I wanted to get out of Fink because it was a mess. And did you see the size of that elephant that nearly shoved you up its anus? You keep bringing that up. Um, well, move yeah. to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, uh, the merchant has left, and you are on a road, uh, presumably, to Sipic. <clears throat> It'll take you a few hours to rest to get your strength back to fly. What would you like to do? Um, maybe take a look around to see if there's anywhere where I could uh, safely set up camp for the evening. Sure. Um, yeah, go ahead. There's a small copse of trees where you're at. Uh, you can probably <coughs> hide in the upper branches if you'd like. Yeah, I'll uh, kind of park myself up there for the evening. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, that is in 10. You hear <coughs> something and notice a cloud of dust. And the cloud of dust is... Odd north of you. I'll stay put for now. Uh, a few minutes later, <coughs> cresting over one of the rolling hills, uh, you notice a large column of armored individuals. It's the military. They are moving to a cadence at a fairly fast clip headed south. Yeah, I'm going to hide in the tree. Figure if they're moving quick, they'll probably not notice me. With a seven, they will not notice you. you Plus, I'm wearing green. That's true. A very classy green. So uh, fit in. Who, who, sold you, <laughs> who sold you that? I'd like to buy that. I can't remember his name. <laughs> God, what a dick. Bedrick Bodkin. Uh, there you go. The rest of the night passes uneventfully as the military moves off. Uh, you're still, what I say, two, three days away from Sipic. Uh, yeah. In the morning, you can take flight again. <coughs> However, uh, you would imagine that it is possible if you take flight, you will either catch up to and or surpass the military, ergo uh, maybe tipping them off. So that is up to you. Would you like to fly over them, fly around them, or just strolling through the park one day? Um, I'll try to keep pace, like maybe a quarter day behind them. That's fine. Uh, because of the size of the military unit, there's a lot of dust, unless it rains. There's a lot of dust. Uh, <laughs> so you should be able to follow them at a safe distance. Give me a, I don't know, perception check again. Uh, 21. Uh, still no dragon. So it's bonus round for you. Over to Dewey and Lucas. Uh, you guys are at the rusted portcullis of Battle Keep. What would you like to do? Uh, do we see any entrances? Or is uh, you notice that the top of the wall is crumbling. However, there is no distinct hole in the wall. Uh, you take a look at the portcullis and you can probably crack it open using strength. Do we? Do we want to make a lot of noise or try and climb over? You're muted again. Climbing. Climb. Yes. How, how high is this wall? Uh, this wall will be 15 feet high. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, let's climb. Yeah, I'll uh, give no, Lucas... I'll give me a boost. Give uh, me a I was going to give you a boost. Okay. Give me a perception <laughs> check. 19. Dewey doesn't realize it, but Lucas, you notice that uh, the bricks or blocks creating this wall are not in really good shape. 
uh, you fear that a misstep or a miscue could not only cause somebody to fall, but cause somebody to drop a brick on their associate's head. Care mm. should be taken. Um, I touch Dewey and cast gaseous form on him. And he farts. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now gaseous form for Is there wind? up to an hour. <laughs> There is just a slight breeze. <laughs> All right, fly on over, Dewey. I go through the wall if there's enough cracks in it. D12 I mean, there's against me. Bonus. Nine. Six. <coughs> nope, no cracks. Okay, well, then I'll just go over and back down. Fair enough. Lucas, uh, you see the green gaseous glob go up and over. What would you like to do? Uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, Dewey can still talk in this form, but I ask, nope. hey, see anything? <laughs> Remind me of the fart cloud from Rick and Morty. Um, cool, that sounds good. One of us over. Um, I'm going to drop constant once I make sure that he's over. I peek through the portacolas to make sure he's like decent distance from the ground, not really high. <laughs> so where are you, Dewey? On the ground. Okay, I drop gaseous form. Poop. Dewey reappears. All right. A little extra gassy there. And uh, I misty step through the portacolas. There you go. You're both inside the courtyard. Uh, grass is about waist high on Dewey, uh, thigh high on Lucas. Uh, there are some stones littering the courtyard from the high towers and the walls. Uh, there is some old siege equipment present, maybe an old wagon, wagon wheel. You do not see any skeletons or corpses present where you are currently at. Uh, Why would we? Are you implying that there's skeletons and dead things? It's haunted. This is what you heard. Nah. Totally haunted. And there's no animals or birds nearby. Birds, birds and animals, no, dude. Uh, initiative. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. You knew this was coming. Uh, what do I get? 15. Okay. Uh, 12. Both of you notice some uh, brief movement over to your side, uh, over by an old overturned wagon. But you look, focus in on it, and you're obviously seeing things. I throw fire in that direction. Fair enough. Yeah, no, sounds good. Light up that space. Well, remember, it was raining yesterday. Yeah, I mean, oh, it was actually that. raining a couple days ago. So yeah, uh, D12 against me, Lucas. Yeah, my goal is to disperse the shadows. Ten. Three. Uh, your fire ignites the old wagon, and the aged timber uh, catches on fire, causing a moderate, not thick, blanket of black smoke. Ooh, we let everyone know we're here, do we? Let's hurry. Pretty much. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no shadows. Cool. Cool. I think yeah. Move in. Yeah, that's what we do. Reroll initiative. Fifteen again. Now that's a dirty twenty. Both of you notice movement over there, about the spot where Dewey came in. Is this a shadow from the fire? No, it doesn't look like a shadow. It looks like something moving, something. <laughs> not not quite humanoid, but something moving. Do we go check it out, man? <laughs> <laughs> Do we, is that your long lost brother over there? Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll take uh, a couple seconds to check it out. Cool. Final initiative. Oh, that's a six. Seven. Nine. Uh, a rather large arachnid appears in front of uh, Dewey, even Lucas. Oh, six in front of Lucas, and it will attempt to attack. It has already phased twice. Oh. 
16 plus 4 is a dirty 20. Uh, yeah, that hit. Give me DC 11 versus con, and you really should make it. Oh, no. And take uh, one hit point of damage from the bite. I failed. <laughs> this is where it gets painful. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, you take 18 hit points of damage from the poison. Unless oh, you're... no. Shit. All right. Uh, but it is now your turn. Phase Spider is 13 to hit, boys. Yeah, let's go Reckless. Um, it's Lucas hits. first. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use a bonus to turn into... Uh, you can do your math, though, because it's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to turn into a giant elk as a bonus action. Oh, nice. And, a giant uh, elephant? Giant elk. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to use my ram to attack this thing. Okay. And I missed. Okay. Do we? All right. That is four, five, seven. <laughs> and uh, were we rolling crits or were we doubling damage? We'll do double damage. No modifiers, just the rolls. Right. Okay. I never remember. I don't remember half the time either. Okay. I said. Johnny on the spot. Fuck it. And we'll keep this, keep this game moving. 13 plus uh, 8, 21, and 4 radiant damage on top of that. So 25? Nope. Uh, 28. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, the bugbear is going to go ahead and swing again, Blake, or Anna, Anastasia. Lay it on me, daddy -o. Uh, 19 and 6 plus 5, so 24 and 11. Uh, it dispels two of my mirror images. Gotcha. You're up. Uh, give me a dex 16. 17 natural, and I, I don't think he suffers minus. He gets plus 2, so 19. Okay, so then it is going to take half damage from my blight spell. Okay. Which is going to be 88. <laughs> uh, comes out to be 42, so 21. Dead. Okay. I, it, I scavenge everything. I, I skin him. I fucking skin him. Uh, 16 animal handling. We established that I have proficiency in animal handling from my... <laughs> That's a, well, that's an 18 anyway, so. Okay. So you've skinned the uh, bugbear chief. I'm sure if you run into any more bugbears, they're going to be thrilled with you. Uh, I've, I've cashed it away within my other, my, my, my jacket of skins. I'm, I'm literally a street merchant. Yeah, I, you're going you're gonna to look like an Asian kid carrying a lot of wool here. Of course, oh. all, all right, all right, short round. Did I find anything else on him while I was... Uh... Yes, you found 75 gold pieces of Sedilla's currency. Fuck that. And you may continue your southern journey if you'd like. Uh, I want to take I want to take at least a I, I want to continue for a little ways but take a short rest. That's fine. Uh, well, how many days out am I approximately? To Yaddle? Well, yeah, to to, uh, somewhere uh, where I, to, to, a, to an area where I could have a long rest. Uh, you... I mean, assuming I didn't... Where, where is the nearest safe, like, safe area to rest? Because I, I burned a lot of spells. Give me, a, give me an investigation check since you're looking around. A net 20. Uh, you see wispy plumes of smoke that uh, you are probably believing is a settlement of some kind uh, to, to which direction uh towards the interior towards the east okay and based on my knowledge of the area that would probably be the town of yaddle or the town of rourke might be rourke 
I, I'd like to head that way just so that I can find probably somewhere to go for the evening. That's fine. Yaddle's on the coast, so yeah. it's probably Rourke, or it could be a Thorpe. You aren't really uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. If it's a Thorpe, I'm, I'm even in better luck because that's what I would prefer. But I will go ahead and, as I'm traveling for the rest of this way, I will not be Anastasia. I will be the child that many shit upon that I escaped as. Sure. So as you go down the mountain, uh, it is a collection of sheep herders. It is not Rourke. It is not a Thorpe. It is a collection of we'll say outcasts. Uh, mm -hmm. They are dressed in wool primarily. And you notice that they have a large goat herd and a large, large sheep herd, three men and one woman. The woman is carrying a staff uh, come towards you as you as you make your way down uh, the mountain, holding two tablets. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie with another man. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt not lie with my goats. Uh, the uh, four individuals uh, bid you good day and what, ask. What, 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 what race are they? Where do they appear to be? They're human. Human, human, okay. Okay. I, I, putting on, doing my best, this is probably going to either be performance or deception. I'll let you pick, but I'm doing my best, just shivering, cold, injured, put upon, and, and beg, beg them for. Uh, succor for them for the evening while I while I collect myself. One of the men starts to approach you, but is sternly whacked across the chest uh, by the woman wielding the staff. Hold, <laughs> Marcus. We do not know this individual. Child, what is your uh, name? It is a human. It is a human child. Correct. Yeah. Child, what is but your like name? Child, like sixteen year old. Right. They want to know who you are, Taryn. Back uh -huh. up to you. You've had your rest. Uh, Give me a, give me a I, survival so, check. So wait, so she literally is just there because what was her? You said it was her cousin that got yes. killed. Her cousin was killed. Was that what happened back before I met up with the party? You you would not know the incident surrounding <laughs> that. I know. I'm the players trying to figure out, not Terry. Uh, okay. Yes, it, it is the three halflings that did oh, yeah, did not that. hijack the box. Oh, I just, yeah, exactly. I just, yeah, just try to figure out if it was one of those that they, they killed uh, before I, just before I got there. All right. So make a, what'd you say? Survival? Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be great. Hey, it is great. That's a 19. I guess this is a good set of dice for a change. You open your eyes and you see <laughs> Cola. Oh. What? Hello, you're awake. <laughs> and she backs off. What are you doing? It's Bill Cosby. Run. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see you breathing. I was making sure that your breath was coming out. I, I was concerned that you might have... Just... Inside check on that. Jesus. I can't... Remember. Why can't I get the 19s and 18s on the freaking inside checks for her? Because I know there's something going on here. Uh, inside, inside. That's a uh, 14. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's going in for a kiss. She was trying to use her seduction skills. Uh, but Tamara doesn't swing that way. I'm sorry. Sorry, I got you confused with the chick on the boat. Yeah, the chick on the boat would swing that way, but Tara, no, not, she didn't swing that way. So, uh, you know, you're 14. You, you aren't really sure. Kind of questionable motive. It is weird, uh, but she immediately backs off. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean... So we, what, do we basically get up and head off? Yep. Head off through the interior. One of the things, I do want to ask her on the road, I'm like, so when did you leave Fulton? How long ago? Whew. Well, let's see. Uh, went to Fulton, uh, went up to Fort Notori for a while. Uh, I was going to cross over into the Northlands, but the goddamn bridge is broken. How the hell's that happened? That bridge was sturdy. That, it, it looks like somebody burned it or something. Uh, so then I went over to Fink. I've been gone. I've been gone a eh, eh, couple, four or five months, maybe. Just enjoy the countryside, living life. Okay. Letting the juices pour down my chin. I'm going with she left before I did, so to speak. Okay. So unless she's lying. And I don't know. I'll roll, but I. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> I totally buy it. I think actually, and I think it's the truth. Huh. All right. So we keep traveling. Uh, you come to a bridge the next day. Wait, a bridge that's not burned out? Nope, no. It's a little stone bridge. It uh, goes over a river. All right, actually, I got to. There we go. All right, so long. What the freaking hell? All right, sorry, this this is being silly. I got to refresh the bridge. Let's try to take a long rest. Um, well, At the I, bridge? No, no, from the night before. Gotcha. I'm on this. Uh, so, all right, so um, I don't know. Is there anything with the bridge? Should I? Funny you should mention that. Four horsemen come galloping up on the other side. However, they don't go. look right. What color are the horses? What color are the horses? Four? Oh, God. This is why you said I was totally screwed. Okay. I pointed out to Cola. There you go. Because those aren't horsemen, dumbass. I didn't say that. I just point them out to her. They're, uh, those what are centaurs. Think? They're what? Centaurs. Oh, hello 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 <laughs> she's waving and jumping <laughs> it and you're gonna get the full umbrage they uh they come I'm, up galloping two by two standard formation so uh, they really, they really are their, right they are centaurs uh they lower their spears and demand to know who you are and what your business is uh my name is tara namatarill and my business is in yaddle we're just heading there. We're just passing through. We have no quarrel with you or anything in this area. Taiwan who? Taryn. The leader whips well, out. Lannister. Lannister. The, the leader whips Christ out a Christ. parchment out of his uh, saddlebag and looks at it. Oh, sh Where are you coming from? Uh, Fink. You know what? I'm not going to hide from that. Fink. Are you a halfling? I assume he's asking that to Cola, right? He's asking that to Cola. And Cola's like, yes. What? I just looked at her like, what? Are you a changeling? Me? And, and looks at you and asks, is this person a changeling? How do you know this person? I'm not a changeling. How about this person? How about what? Now I'm confused. How about what person? The halfling. How long have you known this halfling? Who is this halfling? And two of the centaurs kind of push Cola to the opposite side, leaving you on the bridge alone to deal with two other centaurs. They're splitting you up. We found more goddamn fucking guards. Uh, I've known her since Fink, actually. So she's from Fink? Well, neither one of us are from Fink. We both just stopped there. That's all. So how long have you been uh, following her? Well, we've been traveling together. I haven't been following her. We've been just together. So Going it's a road show? <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Spell it out, sir. Would you use Kinky Kelly? Would you use the sexy stud? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? We okay. have a wanted poster for a halfling, also a changeling. We want to know if your traveling companion is a changeling. Well, I'm not a changeling. I'm an elf. Your traveling companion. <laughs> and kind of pokes you with the butt end of his spear. You mean the halfling? No, she's just a halfling. She's never changed since I've seen her. There's no bluffing there. There's no bluffing there because I. Admittedly, I don't think you've ever seen me change. <laughs> what uh, What is your business in Yaddle? I'm looking to set up shop there. I'm a bard. I perform. I'm looking for a small city to go perform in, and I haven't been there. The leader says, "I've had a shitty day. Tell me a joke." Oh fuck! You're gonna ask me to tell you a joke? Oh, are you not a bard? No, oh, no. Tell me a joke. If Tara, if Tara <laughs> no, no, Beaverhausen. <laughs> no. A joke. She tells lots of them. It's me that the problem is with uh, coming up with a joke on the fly. Um, 
Oh my God. I'm trying to think of all the bad jokes. <laughs> like it tells all the bad jokes. I've th- no good ones. I, I'm guessing Blake has seen the movie I'm referring. Yes. <laughs> so tell me a joke. I will look up a joke because I'm not good at coming up with them on the fly. Meanwhile, uh, as you're trying to figure out a joke, you notice that your associate is having a hard time dealing with the centaurs and is apparently going left and right, bobbing at will, messing with them. Okay, I don't think I'm going to necessarily... I don't know. She's messing with them. I mean... My knees! uh, What do you want to (laughs) do? We'll give Taryn a little bit of time to find a good joke, and it better be a good joke. (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna be a terrible joke better be the best dad joke off the interwebs um so i am a joke. north of sipic i assume right a firm uh am After- i past that am i past that bridge in between torgol and sipic oh yeah okay yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to give you a couple days travel. You will have uh, effectively shadowed the military, and you arrive in Sipic, a small, yeah, we'll say, <coughs> excuse me, we'll say a large village. Well, the outskirts. I didn't want to go in. I just wanted sure. to. Uh, you can meet in the cropland. Okay. Is there, do I notice if there's any, like, uh, farms or anything like that any people i could maybe ask about uh that that disease that uh you find several big... farmers burning their crops they're so okay folk. you know morons <laughs> they live in the south um so okay so i asked them why are you burning your crops you meet Lem. Uh, he's a farmer with an ox, and the ox has seen better days. He's currently burning his fields, which appear to be in rough shape. Uh, he uh, responds to you and says that he has heard that a bunch of assholes from Fink have somehow caused the crop blight, and if he ever gets a hold of any of them, and he shakes his wooden pitchfork at you. Crop blight. D12 against me. Ah. 12. <laughs> well, I got a four. So that's not his a His ox falls over and dies on the spot. <laughs> I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> he drops to his knees and wails, screaming to the deities, Why? Why have you taken old Bessie? Why? Uh, there are a few more farmers burning crops in the fields uh, before you reach the stockade fence. <laughs> Bessie is dead. I'm so um, glad I won that roll. Where's someone like Moo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I assume there's what guards or something like that at that the stockade. Eh, there's one or two. They don't look very tough. So I uh, um I'll approach them and you know ask them uh Hail <laughs> Hail or Hail. <laughs> We're nice. Hail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. Um is has uh because i would obviously like know about the plague um so i would ask them if the plague has reached this city or if they have any information about it if they know anything about it it has reached the city any any idea what's causing it where where it's coming from d12 against me 11 god damn it one. <laughs> a dark elf was through here not long after it started and pointed out some ruffians in Fink, including an Aarakocra. Oh. Might be responsible for it. 
Are you a carrier of this plague? I am not, sir. I am perfectly healthy. Would you consent to a check? <laughs> no, and I fly away. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Lucas. I can go put on a doctor's glove. I have some here. <laughs> Does it go all the way to here? <laughs> no. I don't think you need to go that He's far on a boom. <laughs> He's going to check your <laughs> vocal cords. <laughs> From the rear. Yeah. So you fly off? What direction? Yeah. Um, up and... Hmm. Up, yeah, up, up, up and, and away. over. <laughs> <laughs> over, over Sipic. Uh, high enough where if they start shooting at me with shit, I can at least like evade. Uh, He's but old I enough would... to remember Super Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing right now. Okay. Are you going to poop uh, in their mouths like you did? No, uh... no, no. I want to cast Detect Magic. I want to see if maybe it's magical, like magic that's causing this plague. Some evil magic. I don't know. Range is 60 feet on that, right? Uh, 30 feet. So oh, yeah. forget that idea. Over, <laughs> the air is non-magical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, forget that. All right. Yeah, so I'll just take, they'll take a few pot shots at you. Whew. Uh a two, a five, and a seven. <laughs> Any of those hit? No. You fly over Sipic uh to the shouts. However, uh as you check your six, you notice that they are not chasing you. Okay. Uh, give me a perception roll. That's a 10. Yeah, you don't notice something. And okay. you're going to continue south? Uh, yeah, towards kind of like where that little wooded area is midway between the fort and Sipic. On the... Like where the, the road kind of is right by that like, little tree hex there. Gotcha. No problem. Uh, as you fly that direction, you come up on the military column. They are apparently headed towards Fort Notori. Okay. We will switch over to Kyle and Lucas. You guys are inside fighting the phase spider. Yeah. Uh, let's go initiative. <laughs> 16. Nine. Ten. Uh, Lucas, you're up first. Cool. I'm going to attack this spider again. Okay, I see 13. My, ooh, nat 20. Nice. So reroll, and that is a three, so full damage. And full damage is 16, bludgeoning. Got it. Uh, do we? Uh, all hit, all damage, twenty damage. Wow. Well, I'm recklessly attacking. Well, yeah. let's add that in there. Otherwise, I would have crushed Lucas's head. So that was twenty extra damage. Twenty damage. Uh, the face spider is splattered all over. Uh, give me a perception check. Not ready. That one. Oh, now you want perception. That's a two. <laughs> we don't. I, think, I figure if you're actively trying to do something, that's investigation. If you aren't, it's perception. You guys will not notice the other phase spiders headed your way. <laughs> that is fine. Uh, I will roll at advantage on my initiative. You guys roll normally. 18. Only 14. Uh... Ten. Uh, Dewey, you're the first one to hear the scatter, scatter, scatter. You look up, and another pair of face spiders are headed your way. Okay. I will rage at this point and then go recklessly attack. Uh, ooh. Fifteen on the first one, and nineteen on the second one. Both hit? Yep. That is uh, 16, 17, 
uh, 22 various bludgeoning and piercing damage, and then they aren't resisting eight. To anything. Oh, okay. Uh, 30 damage total, then. Gotcha. One will attack you, one will attack Lucas, the one attacking you gets advantage, correct? Correct. I'm catching on. Uh, 16 and a 4, add 4, so dirty 20. Yes. Con 11 versus, uh, DC 11 versus con poison. Eight on Jack. the bite. <laughs> Rolled a four. Uh, I pass, though. So. Okay, so you take half. Okay. You got the eight uh, piercing damage, right? Uh, bite. Four because I'm raging. Right. But go ahead. Uh, 13, 23, so 11 on the poison for half. Okay. Uh, Lucas, you are up. Yours is uninjured. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack it again, I guess. This is a 14 to hit. You said, oh, yeah. Hit. All right, perfect. 13 to hit these things. All right. And that is 7 plus 4, 13. Or 11 bludgeoning. Got it. New round. Okay. Uh, 12. 15 this time. 19. Lucas, you're up again. All righty. Attack again. 17 to hit. And damage is 12 bludgeoning. Uh, 23. Uh, you're still raging, right? I am, yes. Uh, am I but doing? not advantage on this one because I haven't been... Because you haven't gone yet, right? Yeah. Uh, Dewey, you're going to be straight orange. Lucas, you'll be orange and cream. Alrighty. Um, that's a 13 plus 4. Does a 17 get you, Lucas? Yes, I have AC 15 right now. Uh, and Dewey, you are not hit. Uh, give me uh, DC 11 con for the poison. And also take two from the bite. All right. I got a nat one on that con save. Oh, that one's going to hurt. Oh, that one's going to hurt bad. Uh, 18, 24 damage poison. Oh. All right. uh, Dewey, you're up. Um, how's that first spider eye smashed in little tiny pieces looking? He's he's pretty hurt. Okay. Uh, so first one will hit for uh eight um and nine seventeen damage total. Dead. Okay. And I'll switch over to Lucas. That is a natural twenty. Okay. Uh, nine, so full, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, six, six, twelve, four, um, that's 16, right? 18. <laughs> I, you pull numbers out. <laughs> Is it 18? Sneak attack six plus modifier six plus. 12? Four, that's 16. 16. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotcha. Uh, alive or dead, or keep going? Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Damn. That'll hit. And that is uh, five damage on top of that. Very good. Initiative. Rolling initiative. 18. I'm gonna kill this freaking spider. Uh, nine. I go first. Uh, with the bugbear dead and you sitting in Woolhaven, uh, we'll say, uh, Blake, uh, the female seems to be the leader of this. I, I sent a message. Did you read what I sent? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a lot play, of messages. Player, for player knowledge, I have no idea. I can't fucking remember, but Perpetua overheard this kid's name while she was sneaking around Whitewood. So she's going to answer truthfully as the kid. There's a lot. You guys are messaging the shit out of everything here. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll whatever. That's fine. Yeah, you remember the name. Uh, I'm good with that. Uh, what are you doing out here by yourself? 
I was uh, separated. We were from my from my family. We were uh, traveling to Yavu uh, in order to uh, secure passage back uh, to somewhere. I don't fucking remember where we're where we going. Persuasion at disadvantage. <laughs> um, no, no. Well, we, we no. We were coming from Fink. There was some. There was some commotion with an elephant. We had to scatter. I got separated from my family. What is an elephant? I don't know. It's this big, gigantic thing with fangs, and it stamps, and it, it swallows people up as assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Hi. Sounds scary enough. Uh, give me a persuasion minus two. That's a nat 20. Yes. Well, how about we give you shelter for the night, and in the morning we'll go assist you in finding your parents. Well, I know that we were supposed to meet up in, in Yavl if anything happens, so you're, you're welcome to accompany me there, but that, that's where I would expect to find them. Yadl is almost a week away. I knew that, well, like I said, that's where we had been planning on going because that's how we're going to get back to Whitewood. We were in Fink for the tournament, or my dad was. He has a gambling problem in addition to a drinking problem. <laughs> uh, well, you know the centaurs are rampaging because of the blight, <laughs> don't you? I don't know anything about the blight, no. Yes, the whole area is is suffering under this pugilistic problem. Pugilistic. She doesn't understand the vocabulary. She Fair thinks it's, she thinks it's uh, fine. So yes, we we have lost almost ten uh, percent of our herd. Oh my goodness! That's <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't know what their herd. How many are in their herd? That could be nine nine animals is ten percent. Uh, that, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. But I, I would still recommend. I would still welcome welcome the assistance getting there. That's I, I don't know what where else to. I don't know where else to go look for them. That's what we were told was that was our plan. She takes her staff and waves it towards the small collection of buildings. Yeah, a quick insight. Sure. Uh, Fourteen plus through. Uh, dirty 20. She, there's something going on. Uh, I'll, keeping up the facade, I'll, I'll go, but and I'm, not, I'm not, again, I'm not drinking anything from these cocksuckers. She puts her staff out, stopping you in your tracks, and begins to tap you. Do you have any weapons? Oh, yes, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll hand over my daggers. Is that all? Uh, let me check. That's all I ever use. I think that's all I keep. I carry at the moment. Oh, I also have a staff. I'll give her the staff. Your walking stick? Basically. Mm. What's in the bag? Uh, <laughs> my bag has... Actually, let me pull up my inventory. The skin of many people. <laughs> it does. <laughs> he, he did get rid of a few in Fink, but <laughs> I got rid of no. I got rid of most of the skins. I I, I only have the, the. I think that's the only skin I have left. Is the one that I just collected. Uh, I, yeah. Actually, I'm not seeing anything that's of it. I'll I'll open it up for her to for her to see because that is the only skin in there. How did and you come to procure this? I was assaulted along the road. Those daggers that I just handed you are the only things that saved me. How much for the skin? And she hands you back your daggers. I would gladly hand it over just for the uh, security that you're offering me for the evening. That is too much. Not, not to me. You, you don't understand the, the 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 deed that you're doing for me. We will kill one of the rams for you, and we will feast tonight. Is I was going to say fair throw, trade? Throw, throw, throw in dinner. <laughs> fair enough, Carol. Yep. What are you doing? I believe they asked for a joke. Yep. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to say, I'm going to actually be truthful. I'm going to be like, I found a joke, but uh, I'm going to like, jokes are not really my forte in performance. Whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't you just say jokes were part of your forte? Taryn, I put no, a few jokes I didn't. In the chat. I said that Taryn could probably tell jokes, but her real forte is, I, I, you know, if you don't like this joke, I also have songs. I'm a I want to hear a joke. <laughs> All right. We'll have a riddle for you. What do you Riddle's get? Riddle's not you? a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a page for jokes. Fine, I could go to the joke. What what is my intelligence? No, it's a <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. Manise posted that I should do the jiggly pup song. Jiggly pup. <laughs> I'm old, I don't know what that is. You have to watch Pokemon, but basically it puts everyone to sleep that hears it. The more you talk, the more I understand the jiggly song. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a fucking joke. Oh, hey, <laughs> he pokes you again with the butt of his spear. Oh, geez. It's fine. So a man went to the town doctor, concerned about his wife's hearing. The doctor says, so um, you know what to do. You go and you, 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 you go and talk to her and see how close you have to get to her before she finally hears you. So the man said, okay, that's fine. So then he went home to where his wife was there chopping carrots. And he said halfway across to me, honey, what are we having for dinner? This is the Jigglypuff song, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> not the Jigglypuff song. If you want it to be, then make a friggin', I don't know what's name. <laughs> Honey, what's for dinner? And he doesn't hear any response. So then he gets a little closer, goes, hey, honey, what's for dinner? And nothing. So then he gets a little closer and he's right behind her, goes, hey, honey. And he's terribly worried at this point because now she hasn't answered. Hey, honey, what's for dinner? She turns around, yells at his face. For the third time, we're having, oh God, we're having, I'm making salad. Yeah, come can I make a performance? He's funny. He's funny because husband is what not hearing. Okay, yeah, I can joke. Okay. Fine, wait, wait, how, how did he hear the doctor's instructions? Because he's right next to him. Go ahead, make a <laughs> go ahead, make a performance roll, but at disadvantage. Oh shit! I dropped my die too. <laughs> Drops a good guy, so we're gonna. She's, go got, she's the making a run for it. Behind you, you hear. That's not a joke. That is a joke, actually. Oh, disadvantage? Make what? Was it perform, you said? Yep. Oh, that's going to be like a 20. Because I think I have a plus 10 to perform. And I rolled a 10 at, at disadvantage. The Wait, centaur I leader looks over at the other centaur with him who... I really am better at playing. I'm really better at uh, playing my flute, though. I would still give you a song. Flute, you said. It's going to be a donkey <laughs> show, boys. I really, so, so the thing is, in reality, I am a flute player. Um, I play. You could just say flowers. It sounds a lot less suggestive. <laughs> I've heard. You want a, do you want an excavator for the hole you're digging with this group? No. <laughs> the centaur leader. No. Uh, is kind of bewildered, but he's like, well, I guess that's human humor. Of course it is. I don't know any centaur humor. Would you like to hear a centaur joke? I said the one guy named Elmer's. <laughs> I said the one. <laughs> and I did. The, the, the centaur says, you are free to go. You hear a loud ouch, and as you turn, you notice one of the centaurs is poking cola uh, with the business end of the spear. Why are you picking on her? Making sure she's not a changeling. Also, I'm making sure she's still awake from that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that joke before. Uh, uh, Cola <laughs> suffers a small laceration with some blood flow, and the uh, two centaurs with her just kind of shake their head and move to the side. Uh, hey, the can I ask you why they're wanted? And I'll keep an eye out for them. Why are they wanted? They have what? caused the blight that is withering our crops and killing many members of our tribe. What blight? I hear word that the centaurs <laughs> are the cause. 
on, I've been on the road for a bit since all the chaos and pink. What blight? Blight has taken over Sedellus. The crops have withered. The crops are poisoned. Famine is just around the corner. Do they know, do anybody know what caused it? I mean, what? Haven't you been paying attention, Carol? Yes. The changeling and the half <laughs> oh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I look at him funny. I'm like, I mean, I think I know who you're talking about, but I don't, they don't have any way to cause something on this scale. All four centaurs perk up at that and surround you. Who do you think this is? Were they hired by you? <laughs> Aaron's running us out. Snitches, get snitches. <laughs> Trying to save you, suckers. Uh, Manise, what do you want to do? <laughs> Manise, you have flown over. Uh, you are in the cops. And he's just outside of... <laughs> Fort Notori, uh, where the military went in and they've secured the gate. <laughs> I'd be I'd be to the woods a little northwest. Yeah, I of know the fort. Uh, northwest of the fort and southeast or, or southwest of Sipic. Right? Along the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Like around from that. From your there. vantage point, you can tell that's pretty much where they're headed. All right. Um would I, well, I guess I'll just make my way down that road, keeping an eye out. Are you flying again or are you walking? No, I'm going to fly. Okay. Not, uh, not high, but, you know, I'll fly. Four robed individuals can be seen walking north along the trail. Can I see from my vantage point what kind of robes? Like, uh, Look like are they pilgrim priests? Robes. Maybe pilgrims? Priests. Pilgrims or priests? <laughs> um. Well, given that I'm a cleric, they I'm definitely going. Wedding. <laughs> I'll uh, stop. I'll land and and walk up to them and introduce myself. Hey, all fellow. Uh, you notice that. A sun is emblazoned on their robes. Go ahead and give me a religion check. Oh, boy. Religion, religion, religion. How do I have plus zero in religion? I rolled a five. <laughs> you do not know what order these guys are. You're a fucking cleric and you get plus zero for a religion? Oh. Are, they, are, they, are, they, are they followers of T? Oh, no, it's intelligence. Never mind. Uh, Manise, uh, the four brothers, uh, yeah. remain in a straight line. Only the leader pops back his cloak, and you notice that he has pointy ears. He's a Vulcan. <laughs> are, they, are, they, are, they, are they T? Yes, I am too. Do they follow the autumn god? Oh. So I would assume elves. You would assume correctly. Um, I asked them where they're going. It's still racist, even if you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron would not take offense. Uh, we yeah. have, uh, where the hell did they leave from? I would assume Rourke. Nope. Uh, okay. we arrived in Fulton, uh, three weeks ago, and we are headed north. Um, are you here to help with the plague? We are not. We discovered the plague when we arrived in Fulton. The place is jammed full of people. Well, that's not good. Um, any idea of what, what could be causing this? Have you it, heard anything? It is not our concern, but we have heard that some kind of adventurer ilk are responsible. We have other ideas. What are your ideas? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> My name's Phil. <laughs> well, brother Phil, uh, first off, I must commend you on that beautiful vest. Where'd you get that? Oh, oh, hold on. I remember. I wrote it down this time. I think I wrote it down incorrectly, but I wrote it down nonetheless. 
Uh, I bought it from a traveling gentleman by the name of Bedrick Bodrick. Close. Bedrick Bodkin. <laughs> oh, Bodkin. Okay. It's very nice. It suits your eyes. Uh, your question has an answer, and that answer is uh, one of our fellow worshipers uh, came to Sedellus, uh, and we believe that she may be responsible for part of this problem. Is that why you're here? That is why we are here. You wouldn't happen to have noticed a dark elf among the population here, would you? Uh, out of game? Weaving, yes or no? Weaving intrigue. <laughs> the dark elf, was, you were, were you conscious for the dark elf fight? Did you meet Chrissy? Yeah, he walked into so. uh, Torgal Manor when she washed up. Because he and Lucas didn't give a shit. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't see her. They didn't notice her until I think he might have been asleep for the whole encounter with her. But maybe, I think so. Until he kicked Lord Bushmill in the face. Okay. Yeah, you, you mm. probably would not know then. Okay, um, I have not, but I guess they would have. The, the the guys would have told me. Well, you would have heard uh, yeah. me and Lucas talking about it because we were discussing it after you woke okay, up. Okay, so that was at the manor. I I have heard. Of one at uh, in the Thorgal Manor area. Where is that? Uh, we are with there. It would be when you hit Fort Notori. Well, they're already past Fort Notori. Oh, so they're walking towards Roark? They're walking towards Sipic. Oh, Sipic. Okay. Uh, so northeast of here. Is it along the, the coast, coast or in the interior? No, it's along the coast. Brother Phil, we thank you for oh, your my pleasure. For yeah. your assistance. Is there anything you, we can do for you? Uh I mean, I have you uh heard of any the, the, uh do you know these people who are being accused of it? Do you know who who they are or We've any information seen on them? We've seen wanted posters, but we didn't pay attention. We are here for a very specific thing. Uh, if you are headed down that way, uh, please be careful. The plague is in full swing there, and Fulton is apparently ripe with it, uh, along with the only ocean-going traffic out from uh, Well, the, the next town up, uh, which will be Sipic, uh, you may want to be careful because the plague is hit there as well. Um, I mean, I'd be willing to to help you. Um, this 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 plague uh, has affected me on a personal level, so I'd like to um, seek out the person the person responsible for it as as much as you. Well, would you like to join us to go to Sipic? Yes, yes, I would. You know, I'm going to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Dewey and Lucas. Uh, let's finish this fight. I won initiative. There's only one. Uh, odd Dewey, even Lucas. It's a 10. Lucas. Uh, -oh. uh 15 plus yeah, that hit. four, 19. Give me a DC 11 con. All right. And take, uh, whoo, take 10 bite damage. Oh, man. So I passed the concept. So half. Well, didn't you just get lucky? Three ones and a seven. Ten. So take five. Let's take a total of 15. Woo. Uh, next up, winner, winner, chicken dinner was a nine. Luca, or Kyle, or Dewey, whatever. Go, now, go. And unmute yourself. Nat 20 on the first one. Okay, you'll, you'll kill it. Okay, well, it's dead. I'm not going to do the damage. Uh, give me a perception check. of me. Both of you. All right. Nine. Uh, 16. 16, here's it. Uh, Lucas, there's more spiders coming out of the keep. Uh, cool. Are they at least 20 feet away right now? I'm sorry? Are they over 20 feet away right now? They are 35 feet away, and there are seven of them. They're making a beeline for your ass. 
Damn. That means they're in a straight line, is what I'm hearing. And yeah. three of them just disappeared. Shit. Should we uh should we leave and come back later? Or? Not undead. I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge. Yeah. So, um, my in giant elf form, I have a charge attack. So they need to. Uh, I'm gonna hit one of them. So it needs to do DC 14 save or be knocked prone. Uh, that's a 14, and what is it? Strength. Yeah. Uh, 15 total. Okay, so it's not prone, but it still takes 2d6 damage from the charge. Okay. So that is 11 damage from the charge. That's number four. Cool. Uh, number one, number three, and number five reappear in different portions. Uh, let's go initiative, everybody. That's a six. 13. 22. 22's up. All right. I'm going to attack this one I just attacked. And that is a 13 to hit. Yep. All right. And that is 16 bludgeoning damage. Same one? Yep. 27. Uh, Dewey, you stayed where you were at, right? Uh, assuming so, yeah. Uh, Dewey and Lucas, D12. High roll gets four. Low roll gets three. All right. Three. Twelve. High roll gets four. Uh, first three, Dewey. Not sure you guys are making the right choice here. I don't think uh, so. 19, 13, and 9. So does a 17 hit you? Yes. So two of them hit. Give me two con 11s. Passes. I'm sorry? Pass. Uh, seven for the bite total. Okay. Uh, so you're taking half. Time. Yep. I'm, ju I'm just going to roll this once and we'll double it. Uh, five, four, six, six, twelve, nine, twenty-one. So ten and ten. So twenty damage. Uh, Lucas, you got four of them. Uh, two, a four, a five, and a fifteen. Uh, does a nineteen hit you? Yes. Con eleven. Yeah. Take uh, two damage from the bite. All right, pass the con save. So half. Right. Six, eight, eight, one. 16, 22, 23. Half is 11. Uh, Dewey with a six. You are up. Okay. Right. I revert to Elven form. Reckless. Hit. Hit. Are you attacking the same one or same one? Okay. Uh, thirty-six damage. Okay, close. Uh, new roll initiative. And uh, nineteen. Thirteen. Start with a nineteen. Okay. Still reckless. Still reckless. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to hit the first one separate. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be eight, uh, 16 total. Dead. Okay. And then the other two. And that's a natural 20 uh, full. So that's six on that one and then uh that's two eight and nine damage total uh yes well nine plus whatever i said earlier six so 15 15 uh lucas 13 yeah how far was this protocol is uh, it's about 25 feet. Um, I use my bonus action to Misty Step to the other side of the porticolis. 
Uh, hey, Dewey, I think that was. Uh... <laughs> uh, I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, no, that, Lucas you had four of them. So yeah. let's, let's see if they phase. All right. Four, four, six, 18. One of them phases, but only to the front of the portcullis. It does not go outside. Dewey, you still got two on you for mm -hmm. the time being. Sure. They are advantage. First one. Mm -hmm. 17 and 15, so 23. Second one. Yep. Uh, 18 and 14, so 22. Yep. Uh, DC 11 twice. Mm -hmm. Your bites are 3 and 9, so 12. Pass, pass. 6, 6, 8, 1. Uh, so 12. 13, 20, 10, and 10. So 20 damage. Okay. And new round. Okay. Five. 16. 18. 18's up first. Uh, you've successfully stranded your associate inside with uh, six giant phase spiders. Uh, do I see all six of them? Um, you might miss one of them, uh, just because of the confines. One of them is directly in front of you at the portcullis. Okay. Well then, yeah, go ahead and give me a nature check. All right. Nature check. I got a ten. You're pretty sure that thing was close enough that it could have come through the portcullis. That it somehow. Do I? Can I make like a? whatever insight check to determine if I think it's like magically. I think your perception checks close enough. I, I, I think you, something is holding it back. Okay. Cool. You're not sure if it's magical or not, but something's holding it back. Well then as my bonus action, I shout to Dewey and I let him know. That Good luck, motherfucker! <laughs> like, Get out of here. I don't think they can leave the the uh, confines. See you in yacht, old bitch! <laughs> and, um, as my action, I cast Blight on the one that's right on the other side of the portcullis. So it's a con save. Not uh, even close. That's a seven on my roll. Cool. So that's 88 necrotic damage. Okay. Give me one second while I sure. look up a dice roller. Dewey, uh, you're up next with a 16. I got a five. What do you want to do? Uh, I will go ahead and make a run for it. Uh, you were engaged with two of them at the time, right? Yep. So uh, attack of opportunity. I'm going to skip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. You don't use reactions. Mm, yeah. He, I don't he, use reactions, but you're leaving combat. I, I always use that shit. I'm not uh -huh. using poison on it. I'll use bites. Uh, 19. That'll hit. One of them got you for four damage. Okay. Um, run, run. Spider right on the other side of the gate took 40 necrotic. Or necro, yeah, necrotic. Still alive, but hurting. Dewey, uh, where are you running to? I'm just going to run up a wall. Uh... You want acrobatics or what do you want? Uh, athletics, like sure. rock climbing. Sure. Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> 28 do it. Uh, you get to the top. Uh, give, me a, give me a dex 14 to make sure there's no loose stones. Okay. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, you find solid footing and you're up on top. Uh, the face spiders are just blinking all over the fucking place, but they are not blinking atop the wall. Ooh. Blake, what do you want to do? Can I see the ram that I'm slaughtering? Does it look sick? Oh, you aren't slaughtering it. They are. And, no, I know, but can, but can I... Can I I'm, I'm going to have to... I basically put myself into a corner. I'm going to have to eat something. Give me a so, nature check. Does it look sick? Thank you. Uh, and also, did you see what I sent you about my background? Nope, not a bit. Let me check. Go back and read that while I... In case you missed it, I'm 
smidge busy dealing with all you fuckers. Well, that's by your own choice. Oh, and there's dinner that I said was coming by. My nature check was 10. Quick, somebody do his rolls. Uh, he already got a 10, so he's... Stop adding shit! <laughs> Dicks. Okay, that, that's pretty much fucking useless. Up to Carol in the meantime. Oh, wow, okay. Hang on. Here's that quality content, ladies and gentlemen, for all we're <laughs> talking about here at Murder Hobo Wing. Well, I figured uh, you could get your meal ready and we'll just come back to you. No, it was a fucking pizza. My need to check with 10. All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, no, the RAM looks okay. And yes, I read your background. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going native. I'm along for the evening. Food's good. Okay. Drink's good. Okay. They ask you, how, how, why is your family going? Gambling problems? A hardcore alcoholic, hardcore gambling problems. I, I, I've been telling my mom for years she needs to get rid of him. I was kind of hoping he would die in the Crusades. But the heart wants what the heart wants, I guess. I don't fucking know. One of the three males is a rather harsh cough. Oh, no. The corona. Okay. I will point that out to his companions. He's had it for a few days. How many days? Four. <laughs> okay. He excuses uh, himself and uh, says he needs to go tend to his flock. Uh, I will. He's going to get the flock in, out in, of here. In his absence, I will. Uh, you know, that sounds an awful lot like the sickness that everyone's been talking about lately. Jeb is a hardy man. He will be okay. Uh, I, how, how many of your hardy animals have, have fallen in, in as a result? Nine. Yes, and those animals were hardy. It is the cost of living. You were just warning me about this disease. Yeah, you. You look weak. Well, that's because I was. I was assaulted. I was accosted. I'm sorry for your now that, had, now that I've had a chance to sit down and gather my strength, I, I hope I shouldn't look nearly as, as weak. And, and, uh, and I will actually make my muscles appear to develop as I'm eating. It's, it's a very subtle, subtle over the process type of thing, it's, but it's going to, I'm going to look different from when I started eating versus... Excuse me, are you going to eat that? Yeah. Or do I need to go over here? Or over there? <laughs> they look at you puzzled. The female points out, you are a 16-year-old traveling through the wilderness alone. That is our concern for your health and well-being. And I am graciously appreciative. Over to care or Taryn. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sleep here, by the way, Frank. Okay, what you going to do, Taryn? I believe you just asked me. I believe uh, we left off with four centaurs surrounding me after I brought up. And you know what? I'm going to be so happy to say this name because after all the times a certain someone has thrown me under the bus. They asked me who you don't know him, a changeling, Taryn. <laughs> who are you throwing under the bus? Who you know you're a changeling. England. No, you don't. Absolutely. I saw you change into a freaking miner, and it's been, I believe, we ta it's been That is true. Oh, that, that is true. I did forget about no. that. Okay, fair enough. In your form. Go ahead, Taryn. Are you throwing her under the bus or throwing somebody else under the bus? I mean, you, oh, you've got no. four solid choices here. No, no, so, yeah, Carol's doing this with Glee. Taryn, that was that was an alter self spell that I have. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> All right, so so I go. So basically, I'll look. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know the knucklehead you're talking about. But there's no way they knowingly could pull this off. 
I mean, evil knows no bounds. They're, they're far too stupid to be able to accomplish all of this. They're not. I don't think they're evil, but they don't really have the means. Wax to you with the butt of his spear. Tell us the name. Oh, her name. Uh, her name is Perpetua. How do we find this per per, per perpetuity? person. I have no idea because we she always, always have been and she always will be. I yeah, I have literally no idea. We all got separated. I haven't seen him since I left Fink. You may pass, but pass quickly. The last so we do not like the outside. Mind, isn't it? What? That's fair. Is yeah. there anything else? Well, is there anything else you can tell me about this plague? Because I personally would like to try to uh, do something about it. Are you a cleric? Nope. Oh, no. You are a joke teller. No. <laughs> I'm a flautist. Let's get that straight. I'm a flautist. I'm not really a joke teller. To that, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, it's a, that is fair. Um, is there anything else you can tell me, though? No. Nope. All right. The well, farmers, the farmers on the prairie in their little houses are suffering ingles, which is what we call it. Ingles? I, I hear it's just running wild and wilder. All right. That's in the van. I may not be a cleric, but you know, there's a. Yeah, I play one on TV. <laughs> I, there is a source to this that probably needs to be found out before it can be stopped. Maybe I'll oh, find... Oh, you're wise. <laughs> eh, not really. <laughs> it, it, it might not just run its course. People are dying. If, sh sh before everyone catches it, it might be good to stop it. She knows you're too much about how it works, killer. What? You hear a cough behind you. She knows, she knows too much about how it works, killer. All right, I think I'm going to go now. I, if it's clear you don't have anything more to tell me, and that's fair, I think we'll, I'll take Coda and we'll go. Cola and we'll go. Damn it, I knew he was going to call it Coda. Are you headed to Rourke? No, I'm headed to Yaddle. Why? What's in Rourke? It's just a few miles away. We can Not stop. Only several days away. We can stop by there for the night. If Thanks you want. for the tip. The human settlements seem to have a problem with the disease in greater abundance because they are weak. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not exactly the strongest. I'm not the most constitutionally uh, solid person in the world. All four centaurs move so that you and Cola, who was the source of the cough, can pass. Wait, Cola's coughing? Mm-hmm. Was it then? This is new, right? She hasn't been doing it the rest of the time. You haven't noticed it before. Not since she got up close and personal with you. <coughs> you coughing. You just said she got up close and personal. I know. I'm just trying to fuck with you. Fuck. It doesn't matter if she's... Right. My knees! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the tension, Carol. My knees, what do you want to do? You're headed back to Sipic, where you just flew over and got shot at. Yeah, yeah but now I'm coming back with priests and stuff, so I'm going to blend in with them. Um, you should be able to hide those wings behind that green vest of yours. Yeah, nobody's gonna notice. I just Tell you what, next time I see you, I will personally <laughs> help you with that. I mean, those ever expanding pockets you got. Uh, yeah, exactly. Manny's at the uh south entrance, uh, the gate. There's a couple more guards. Hey. I just let the other guys answer. I'm with them anyways. That's fair. Uh, hail, good sirs. We are brothers of the light. May we rest in your facility for the evening 
We are very tired. The guards, let's see what their intelligence is. A five and a 13. The five is pointing out what the clouds look like. That one looks <laughs> like a turtle. The 13 looks at you five and says, are you all brothers of the light? And the leader says, no, we have picked up our associate here on the road. He also seeks uh, a room for the night. And the guy looks at you and D12 against me. And all of the monks start to cough. That's uh, a big old eight. I got a one. The guy's hey! Like, are any of you ill? That one looks like a pony. Nope, I'm good. The Brothers of Light, no, we are we have not suffered any of the ill effects of the plague that is ravaging your countryside. Uh I'll have to get the sergeant at arms to go ahead and see if you're allowed to come in. The leader of the Brother of Light says, that is fine. We have nothing to hide. All in the light is shown. That they one said. looks like a carrot. So they leave Elmer Fudd with you, <laughs> still looking up at the clouds. Uh, and the 13 intelligent wanders off. So the five looks at you guys and goes, Hail. Hail. What do you guys want? Uh, we're just looking for lodging on our way up to uh, Torgal Manor. Come on in. <laughs> he opens Thank you very much, gate. good sir. He opens up the gate and the one brother of the light starts to speak and point out that the other guy is going to get the sergeant at arms. Mm. Would you like to go in or bypass him? I'll just tell him, just follow me. Just follow me. Don't worry about it. But and then we, we, have, go in. we have nothing to persuade him. Oh, no, 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 no. There's these guys. You just don't worry about it. We're going to be in and out. They won't even care. Give me a persuasion check. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, 18. As you wish, you have come from this direction. We will put our trust in you. Elmer Fudd shuts the gate and he goes, that's it. What's it? It's a wagon. See, it's a wagon. The wheel. Oh, it's yeah. Wagon. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a wagon. What? Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> uh, you see the winding street. You see some people out and about. You hear some coughing in the background somewhere. Uh, and then you see the smart guard kind of headed your way. Uh, I just keep going. Like, not like I, I'm not trying to hide anything or whatever. Just continue towards, I guess, what would be an inn. Or, or a place where we could find... Uh, there is an room. inn on the right between you and the guard coming your way. The guard is alone, by the way. Does he look like he's like in like running at us or he's just walking toward us? <laughs> he's a, sure Twitch will get, be you mad. You need to get that one checked. <laughs> <laughs> looks a little uh, mushroomy. <laughs> no, it, it, it looks like he's uh, still searching. Searching, I, I. But he still hasn't found what he was looking for. Ah, you're busted. <laughs> Go ahead, show it again. <laughs> uh, do you want to? I'll just. The... I'll make my way towards the inn again. Like I said, I'm not like running or anything. Just the guy let us in. You let us in. We're just walking to the inn, like we said. Okay, you guys get to the inn slash tavern. It is the wispy wheat. <laughs> Okay. Um, I approach sparse, the sparse crowd. Sparse. Yep. I would imagine. Uh, I approached the. I assume there's an innkeeper. There is. Uh, I'll approach the innkeeper. <coughs> <and> I... 
Good day, sir. Um, we're looking for lodging for the evening. <laughs> You've come to the right spot. <coughs> Pardon me. And he reaches down below the counter, pulls out a cracker and pops it in his mouth. He goes, <coughs> really good. <coughs> yes, I have rooms. How many rooms would you like? Uh, were how many? There, there was four of them. Four of them, five. one of you. Total of five. Uh, I'll check with my friends here. Uh, so I'll ask them, like, do they do they want one do room? They need several? Two rooms, sir. Two rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Weed cracker. Very good. Uh, we have two rooms available. One has Perfect. been freshly cleaned. I'll take the clean one. <laughs> The brothers of light do not mind. Thank you. I know that they don't. <laughs> and, uh, he gives you directions. You're in room five. They are in room one. Perfect. I'll uh, tell them we'll make our way up to our rooms. Maybe uh, around what time of day is it? Is it like dinner time, past dinner time? Dinner time. Dinner. Okay, we'll go in, refresh. We'll meet up for some food. That's fair. Uh, over to Kyle and Lucas. No. You guys are now outside the walls. Uh, so, uh, Dewey, um, you want to keep going south? Maybe uh, cut around the keep? Four more phase spiders come out. Inside, but they're out. I'm going to say the place isn't haunted, though. It's just fucked up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Cool. It's not worth place. Be before we move on, though, I am going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. I will drink a health potion. And Cast. I got eight plus... Ooh, seven. Four. So 12 hit points back. Okay. So you're going to head south? Yeah, we're going to go around the faint, uh, around the keep uh, and just yeah. continue following the road south. Uh, an hour later, you... Notice four riders headed towards you. Uh, ha have they seen us yet? Yes, you're in the open plain. They are oh, uh, galloping are towards you. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, that is fine. I guess I'll just keep acting nonchalant. Moments later, you notice that the riders are not riders. They are four centaurs. They have come from the due west. They approach you with uh, long spears and ask you your name and your business. Hello. My name is Dewey. No, <laughs> oh, wait. I'm Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> How are I'm you? not good with people. Yeah, me either. I'm <laughs> an animal person. Lord. One of the centaurs pulls out a parchment. You points at Dewey. Are you a halfling? No. You're half the size of a man. I'm a I'm a gnome. What is a what is a a, a, a gnome? Pull back a hood and it's pointed ear. I'm like a, a half elf. Yeah, Halflings are, are half people. Gnomes are half elves, what? except we're better than halflings in every way. Except I actually three think they're three ones. fifths. All right, that's what it said in the declaration for the yeah. constitution, rather. Uh, and one of them pokes you with a sharp end, Don't and they all that. they all kind of look at you. It's painful. It causes about two hit points worth of damage. You want me to kill them, don't you? <laughs> we are looking for a halfling. Have you seen one? I, I, I mean, there are hundreds of halflings probably in the world. Is there one in particular? Not in Sedalus, there aren't. There are only like 12, and you killed three of them. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. 25% towards genocide. <laughs> What's the halfling's name you're looking for? 
Uh, Taryn, did you tell him what Perpetua's name was? I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he got it wrong. Guys, you know, payback, man. Finally, I get to throw Perpetua. No, but I'm not the halfling. You, you've been a halfling on the nameplate forever. You're a changeling, but... Oh, the, oh that's right. Yeah, okay, yeah. Perpetua is a... Yeah, Perpetua yeah. is a... Yeah, she's a halfling. So... Perpetuity, I believe, was the name. <laughs> Do you know this perpetuity person? No, no. We knew uh, uh, a changeling who looked like a halfling named Perpetua. <laughs> but she's a changeling, so... Perpetua, that was the name given to us by the female crappy joke teller person. Oh, who was that person? <laughs> she was here yesterday. Uh, she oh. and a, a oh. halfling, but that was not the right halfling either. That wasn't the right halfling? How did they know? You let a halfling go? You, there's not like there's a hundred of them on this continent. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Lucas, they're looking for Perpetua. She's a changeling. She can uh, look like anything. But okay. they said they were looking for a halfling. That's right. It's a halfling that is a changeling. Yeah. I mentioned changeling. But yes, uh, people we met on the road. Uh, oh, the oh no, 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 Frank. You just simply said that they were two separate people. They are. Well, right now you're Anastasia Beaverhausen. Uh, so yeah, we met somebody on the road yesterday at the bridge about two miles away and they uh they said it was uh perpetuity or perpetua or something do you know this person no i don't think perpetua was very good at telling jokes no um, that the the halfling was not the joke teller no 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 perpetua who is a halfling most of the time is a changeling so she can change and look like anyone but she's really bad at telling jokes oh my god Oh. So do you think that we were dealing? You could have been duped. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense now that you think about it. Well, I, I have I never heard know, Perpetua man. tell a joke, honestly. Do you remember Lucas Perpetua? We used to travel with her. No, no, I've never heard Perpetua. So you are oh, co-conspirators? Oh. No. Wait, did, did I think we heard Christ. Perpetua play the flute, though. I think <laughs> I heard that, yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Taryn, check the uh, oil on the bus that's about to run over you. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So wait, where are you two headed? They just admitted they traveled with her. Oh, I, I caught it. I got it. So, so what are you two doing out here? Oh, you know, I'm a druid. I like to see the landscape. I escaped from prison. <laughs> What were you doing in prison? Getting ass raped. Getting tattooed on the ass. <laughs> it, it turns out uh, uh, normal full people, you know, who aren't half horses, are uh, really, they're more assholes than you guys are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, because a donkey's an ass and you're half donkey. I uh -oh. think your hoof doesn't look quite. <clears throat> small they enough, they get in closer proximity to you. I, I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Well, you're, you're a centaur who's part donkey. <laughs> oh, right? half -assed. <laughs> no. Oh, horse is ass of a name. Part horse. God, they're never going to Of catch course, them. of course. Are you sure? So you, know, have, I start you have poking traveled around this with hook. this poor shitty joke teller who plays the flute <laughs> and you believe that that is the changeling yeah could you identify this person oh shit <laughs> uh well we, again we she's a changeling so she looks like anything do uh, you know uh, how to identify her it comes a fucking bus you need like a gem or something like that okay yeah and you look through the gem but you usually you just have to catch her telling a bad joke or playing the flute. Um, you two are going to come with us to the human um, settlement known as Rourke. Where's that? A league that away. Oh, that's where we're going anyways. Sounds Is that good. where we're going anyways? 
Can I ride on your back? <gasps> oh, D12. <laughs> Six. Yes. Ooh, I hop up. He offers uh, to let you ride right. their back. Oh, I was playing them on it. D12. Nine. <gasps> Can I ride on the one who I called a half ass? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, they gallop towards Rourke. While we're going, can I ask him about news in the area? Certainly. What would you like to know? Yeah, what, what's uh, what's going on in the area? Why are you looking for uh, such and such? There is a horrific blight undertaking the land and the animals. They are dying off in droves. The human settlements have suffered worse than we have, but it is spreading everywhere. Some oh. say adventurers from Fink are responsible. Really? Fink? But the wanted poster is specifically about the halfling changeling individual. Yeah, and no, we're not from Fink. We're actually from uh, the Academy of Heroes. Good God. Persuasion. I, uh, this is not gonna go well. Oh, oh hey. hey, eleven. That was a seventeen for a fourteen. Huh. We have never met heroes before. We have heard of the academy. No. Uh, and actually, uh, Dewey D twelve against me. Twelve. Uh, six. So, are you remorseful that the Grand Academy has been destroyed? <gasps> what? Yeah, I think we heard that already. You guys, you guys had that information. Yeah, uh, you the others from, I'm not. I'm less surprised now. No, no, yeah. they did. They did. You got that from who was it? Those, those two are the only two. Oh, that from, from the from the from the military. Yes. yes. Yeah. But from you, Terran and Mies do not know. So are you disturbed that you've uh, probably lost friends? Yes, very much so. They we weren't really friends. They were associates. No one associates. I, I, I like to read more, and I didn't really like the people. Uh, Lucas, though, uh, also shares my likes of books. Yeah, I hate people, but deeply disturbed. May I ask a question? Yes. Can I give an answer? Why is a wood elf and a gnome traveling together? Aren't you mortal enemies? We went to the academy together for 10 years. No, you're thinking of the Arakakra and the gnomes. Oh, yeah. And then Those are the bird there. people, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, they're assholes. Correct. If you see one, you should. Have you seen an Arakakra lately? We have not seen an Arakakra. They carry flu. <laughs> you just knock them out and pull out all their feathers. <laughs> the from their body, clip that they can't fly. <clears throat> FYI. Uh Terran, D twelve. Terry, give me a sec. Dewey D twelve. <clears throat> oh, that's a twelve. Eight. Uh, Taryn, you were seeking refuge in the town of Rourke, were you not? Yep, I was headed to Rourke. Okay. Uh, the next morning dawns anew, and you are you and Cola are preparing to head back out when you see four riders approaching. Oh, shit. Andra. I had a game shit. In game, I have no idea. It's them. I know it's them. <laughs> Well, she she's she's seen what they look like, so she would have the advantage. She knows that they're centaurs. Final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see Carol's heart shatter. Oh no! No, are you kidding? This uh, is the best. I love this. The no, story. they are literally going to hand you over to the centaurs. You're going to be gang raped. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start we'll start with Carol. That might be perpetual. Tell us a bad joke. Quick. <laughs> Carol, what do you think so far? First of all, I did make a 20 on that performance check. So it shouldn't have been that bad, okay? It's because you did, you did a wonderful job of telling a bad joke. 
Yeah, right. the gnome and the elf have thrown you under the bus. It was wonderful delivery. <laughs> But hey, I finally get to throw Perpetua under the bus, so there's that. Uh, and, and Kyle and uh, Ernest threw uh, Chris under the bus, too. Okay, so Tara, or, uh, Carol, final thoughts. What do you think? Uh, in some ways, I wish it wasn't four more, you know, four weeks until we do this again, because that is a great place to leave it off. And now I'm going to sit and stew for the next four weeks. Um, now you're going to sit and stew for the next four weeks. The rest of us are going to go about our daily lives. <laughs> much, <yeah. laughs> I have to figure out how Hawk Brecker works again. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I have to be the virtuous character now again. <laughs> no, this is this is absolutely great. And this is said, this is the brand of trouble I really enjoy role playing through. Um, I love it. In fact, you may. Yeah, I know it's funny. You said at the beginning, I, I was totally screwed. And um, it's funny. I th actually thought um, uh, I thought Lucas and Dewey had it a lot worse than me. Uh, uh, when I when I rolled up everything, the order of encounters. Your encounter is extremely dangerous, but it was also the last thing, so you did not get to it yet. Oh my God! But now I'm about to hopefully be reunited with the rest of them. I and hope. it feels so good. We're the most dangerous part. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be reunited with us. There's that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's so much fun. This is so much fun. I said, and this is just the sort of thing I really enjoy. You know, it's 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 cool because it's more like dependent on me rather than just my dice. <laughs> I love role playing, and and this was just perfect. So I can't wait. I can't Kyle? wait. Kyle, <laughs> uh, it was great watching Carol fumble through throwing Perpetua under the bus. <laughs> But I'm hoping by giving her good examples of us doing it to her that she grows and learns as a murder hobo. I think this will go well for us. Blake, final thoughts. Yeah, I'm going to go bounce on my boy's dick for a couple hours. Ernest, final thoughts. Oh, that was lots of fun. I'm ready to throw everyone under the bus. Yeah. So, uh, once we ride in on these half ass centaurs, <laughs> I'm going to point at random citizens. <laughs> that, that guy. That looks like that we saw him when we saw him once upon a time. That's that could be a son change. Of a bitch. That could be a change. Yeah, wait, wait. That... Hank, yes. I actually see them riding on top of them. Uh, you know what? Give me uh since you're since you're searching for it, give me an investigation check. I mean, to be fair, down. he's gonna forget about it I'll in four remember. weeks. Oh no! Under I, I, I've taken uh, copious notes, Chris. Uh, while she's doing her roll, what do you think? I got it. I got it. Uh, that was a uh, that was a good one. I managed to not die, so you know advantages. It's a plus. Um, passing so out, no dying. You can still no nothing. Fly. I, I I can fly, man. These are all these are all firsts. <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure I see him on a dirty twenty. Yeah, you'll see him on a dirty twenty, uh, folks. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh, we had to go a little bit long because juggling four different scenarios at the same time is exceptionally trying and i'll have to go through zoom chat to figure out what all i missed or i'll just figure it out. I'm not sure <laughs> no, uh, hey, no, it's like down to three scenarios a lot of follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube if you want to buy our crap uh, tinyurl.com rpg swag uh tuesday is between the rolls saturday and the following saturday scott will be running these guys uh if up this time uh, through his Gary Khan offering. So if you're going to Gary Khan, uh, yeah, get a little cheating in there uh, right away. Uh, folks, I play an actually good character. Kind of ish. No, ben, Benny, Benny is very good. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we will see you on Tuesday. Let's this is a shit a show. Watch, watch, watch Boots. Watch the shit show. Watch Boots. Watch uh, hey. Doge. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.